Hi, and welcome to part seven of my intermediate PowerShell tutorial series. Today, we'll be looking at importing and processing XML file data. And this is actually going to be the last video, I believe, in our intermediate PowerShell tutorial series. Um, after this video, I'll be working on a tutorial series for automating Active Directory. And we're going to be doing that with a CSV file. Um, so we're going to be using everything that we've learned so far in the beginner and intermediate PowerShell series uh, to completely automate our Active Directory on our servers. And basically, this is going to look at the employee data um, in a file, check to see if there's any new employees, employees that might have changed positions, uh, or employees that might have got fired or quit to make sure that we remove their access. Um, so without further ado, let's get ahead and let's get started on the XML file data here. Um, so I already have an XML file that I've created here with all my employees. Uh, so we have our typical XML uh, declaration up here, and then we have an employees root node, and then we have some child uh, employee nodes here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get started by declaring a variable for our XML file path. And we're just going to store that to where our file is, which for me is in C data employees.xml. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to declare another variable for our XML data. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a get content on the file path of our XML file. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add two square brackets in front of our XML data variable and add the letters XML in there. And that's going to tell PowerShell to import this content as an XML format. So what we're going to want to do here is now just take a look at our XML data just to see how it looks. And we see here that we do have employees. So we're going to use the dot notation in PowerShell here. We're going to do a dot employees. And now we see here that we have multiple employee um, objects. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to do one more dot notation here for dot employee. And we are going to set that to our employees variable. And now what this is going to do is going to let us iterate through each employee. So we're going to do a for each employee in employees. And then if we run this here again, we're going to see that we're going to be able to iterate through each employee. And then what we can do here is do a dot notation and we can see that we can select first name uh, we can do last name we can do a date of birth we can do title so we have access to all of our data here so if we do a right output we could actually do employee dot first name employee dot last name has title of and then we can output the title here so this is how we would process our xml data so we can go through each employee and give us the details for that there and we can actually make sure that this data is correct by just double checking our employees so we do see here that we have Joe Smith as our first employee, which is an accountant. Um, Abby Doe, which is a help desk. Joe Smith, which is a programmer. And then Tim Smith, which is an accountant. So all this data looks good. So this is how we would go through our XML data. And then when you're going through this for each loop, you'd be able to interact with Active Directory or any other um, type of data if you want to do like an email script. But this is how you would open up an XML file, parse through it. It's really using the dot notation. Now, what you can have as well is you can definitely have uh, childs within childs, um, which is why you're going to really want to use this dot notation. Because uh, sometimes you'll have, I'll use this as an example here. 
you might have um, the employee data at the top level, and then you might have a position subchild, which will have uh, the title, department, the employee ID, uh, or job ID. And an employee can have multiple job IDs, but only one employee ID. Uh, those are some examples that I've seen with XML data. It definitely lets you get quite granular uh, with XML data compared to CSV file, which is a very flat uh, type of data file. Uh, but XML and JSON files I find are very um, good to work with. They can carry a lot of data. Uh, we'll be working with CSV files in our first project of automation, uh, just so it's a little bit easier to follow along. And then we can jump into some XML uh, projects afterwards and get deeper in that. But that was really it for this video. Um, what I'm going to ask you guys is actually just a little question because I'm working on some more videos for this channel. And I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in more like web development and Python, as well as these PowerShell videos. I don't want to stray away from PowerShell videos because I find that PowerShell is very useful. And I find that there's not a whole lot of videos out there showing you how to do different things. And I'm going to be trying to focus on the things that I've personally experienced and would have liked videos for. Uh, but if you guys have some languages that you guys would want to learn or some different type of programming aspects like recursion, uh, web development, a type of language, if you guys want to learn some algorithms, data structures, comment that below and I will do some videos. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.